So I play a villain on this show for the first time in many, many years, my first time back to Channel 8, and also back to playing a very powerful, very scary lady who would go to no ends to make sure that she gets what she wants. The dancer called me up and he's like, hey, come back, you know, we have this show. And I'm like, I don't know if I can do this, you know, I haven't read Mandarin or spoken Mandarin in so many years because most of my friends speak English. It's like, no, 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 the, the, it's very simple, you know, just, just come back. And the first day on set, I turn over my script. I have the most lines in the entire show. And it's all business jargon, so I was like, oh dear. So literally I had to spend most of the days in, in the hotel room like trying to really memorize all the scripts and um, doing a lot of homework. I mean, I was so nervous. I was calling like Yao Tong every day because I was like, dude, I cannot do this script. This script is like so much business jargon and I, I'm struggling in my Mandarin. I literally had to write everything in Honey Pink still. Um, but it's, it's, it's nice, like I said, you know, to use a mother tongue again that I don't always use. I've always been playing very good roles or like, you know, even in Crazy Rich Asians where I just came from the, the you know, the premiere, um, it, it's very sexy roles or very sort of like funny roles. And this is the role that I actually have to be very still, very determined and, and of so many like sort of lines. Being on Channel 8 set again, you, you miss the little things, you know, you miss the scripts, you miss the, the stress, you do miss the stress and yeah, you know, because I guess I've been so comfortable for so long, like, you know, doing all the things I love and sometimes when you, you push the envelope a little bit, it really sort of gears you up.